Hi everyone, this is Caleb with Allegiance Water Services, and today we wanted to highlight our high pressure mist systems. So especially being in Arizona, being as hot as we are in the summers, it's great to have a high pressure mist system like this to be able to enjoy your backyard during these summer months. So today we're gonna highlight some things about mist and the benefit that it has in cooling the air temperature up to about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a few factors with high pressure mist that we want to make sure that we address. Um, for it to be cooling at around that optimal 30 degrees Fahrenheit, um, we need three different things to all come into line. So that's the shade versus direct sunlight, uh, the amount of wind that may be in an area, and the amount of humidity that's already in the air. So to get the optimal cooling, which we are right now, is early in the morning, very light breeze, lots of shade, and it's very dry. So we're right around 30 degrees of cooling right now, and we'll show you that on our thermometers that we're keeping track of. All right, so the biggest thing with mist that we wanna talk about is the temperature drop that you can achieve. So like we talked about with the dryness in the air, the amount of direct sunlight versus shade, or the amount of wind, that's where you can achieve about a 30, you know, 35 degree sometimes temperature drop. So as we can see, our front sensor is 102.7 degrees out front uh, with a 20% humidity. And this sensor right here is 76.6 degrees with a 79% humidity. So let's go check out that front sensor. Once again, that was in the shade. So 102.4 degrees in the shade. And we were 77 degrees back there. It's already coming up now that we're outside. That's a pretty big drop. So as you can see, we moved our sensor now into the direct sunlight out front. And it's 121 degrees <laughs> uh, for the sensor right now. We're back here, 78.4 degrees. So that's about a 43 degree difference for the front yard uh, to the backyard where the mist is. Um, same thing, you can see the percent humidity, so 12% humidity out front, super dry, 121 degrees. In the back, we're up to about 71% humidity at 78 degrees. So this is the most ideal situation possible. <laughs> we're early in the morning, very little wind that's moving the mist away, uh, awesome shade, we're not getting that direct sunlight, and we're very dry for this time of year. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the high pressure mist pump. This is the heart of the mist system, and there's a few different options that you can do. What we have here is a direct drive open pump. Um, you can get them enclosed with a case over it, which is great for any pump that may be outside. And then instead of direct drive, you can also get a pulley driven pump, which is a little quieter. All right, another cool component that we can talk about are remotes. So one thing in turning on or off a mist system is depending on where the pump is located, that's where you need to go and flip the switch to turn it on or off. So one thing that we can add is a nice remote like this, where at the click of a button, you can now turn on or off the mist system without having to walk over to where the pump is located. When you're ready, you turn it back on. Good to go. 